In 2007, the state of California issued a request for a proposal and selected three design build teams to compete for the new Caltrans District 3 office building project in Marysville, California. Each team worked to design a project with the best value based on space criteria developed by Caltrans and within a stipulated sum mandated by the state. Caltrans originally required their new office building to hold 800 staff members and 230,000 square feet. Work groups needed to be contiguous and certain amenities were required for them to do their jobs. The building's amenities include conference rooms, training rooms, a cafeteria, and quiet rooms for small meetings. Clark Pacific was invited by all three of the design teams to help develop precast concrete solutions for the Caltrans project. Two of the teams developed architectural precast solutions on steel frame, and a third team led by Turner Construction and architects A.C. Martin worked with Clark Pacific to pursue an efficient total precast design. Ultimately, the total precast design featuring a breakthrough precast structural system called the hybrid moment frame proved to be more cost effective than the competing steel structures. The University of California San Diego's engineering department tested the system extensively and the hybrid moment frame was proven to be one of the best performing seismic systems available. The hybrid moment frame system consists of post-tensioning cables inside the beams and columns that provide the force to self-right the building after an earthquake. The system takes advantage of precast panels and allows the movement to all to occur in the joint between the column and the beams, which minimizes the damage to the building. The precast hybrid moment frame post-tensioning system was a big selling point for the state. No X braces, no K braces, and no shear walls. Everything is wide open, making the job of interior design and layout that much simpler and that much more efficient. We contributed to the cost efficiency of the project in many different ways. First, our all-in-one precast system provided both the architectural exterior as well as the structure. Our architectural exterior was designed to be both the vertical and the lateral system for the building. Second, we were able to achieve a very efficient bay size that will help with the employee count for the building. Our bays were 42 feet by 23 feet and provided a lot of open space on the interior. And third, the precast concrete was left exposed. This allowed for very high ceiling heights, eliminated the requirement for drop ceilings, and it provided a thermal mass that the architect took advantage of in his mechanical design. The building uses the concrete's thermal mass in two ways. In the summer months, to slow down the transfer of heat from the exterior to the interior. In the winter months, the heat gain slowly seeps into the mass and the building removes the heat gain by radiating out during the evening hours. Hence, the building doesn't have as long of a warm-up period in the mornings when the building is turned on to prepare for occupancy. There was a approximately a 15% energy savings by using this thermal mass. The construction period of the total precast concrete system was definitely shorter than alternative methods, 10 to 20% quicker for the structure. The post-erection stages were faster as well. The flooring system went in more rapidly than steel, and many steps were eliminated with the use of concrete. Stud walls at the perimeter were eliminated, and there was no need for fireproofing. There were three big advantages to using the total precast system. First, the exterior finish is integral to the precast panels, making it attractive with various interesting patterns and textures created from both forming and texturing of the panels. Second, using concrete throughout the exterior and the interior will require very little maintenance and save the state money during the life of the building. Third, the time saved during the construction process by using precast saved a month or better in construction, and time is money for everybody. The precast system contributed to the aesthetics of the building in many different ways. One is we used our architectural precast brick clad panels for the front entry area. The brick clad panels were also uh, structural in nature and supported the floor system. This project was required by the state and by DGS to be a LEED certified building, and precast concrete helped contribute to the projected silver LEED rating that this building will attain.